Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of DLB TV. As always, I'm your host DLB. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at DLB23. Check out the blog DLB-network.com. And as always, check out the podcast on iTunes. Just search DLB-network. So in this week's episode of DLB TV, we're going to be discussing PS Vita TV. Right. So um, I'm going to be going over the things that I like, I dislike, different questions that I have. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So let's start out with the name of the device, PS Vita TV. I'm not really sure why Sony locked it down to PS Vita TV, seeing that it has a whole lot more things to do with other than just the Vita. You can watch Netflix, Hulu, you can play PS1, 2, and 3 games. And for that, uh, for the matter of fact, you can play PS4 games as well. So why lock it down? to just PS Vita TV. So I'm really curious why Sony went with that name. I know they trademarked PlayStation TV and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be used for something on the PlayStation 4, so they didn't wanna use it in this instance, but I feel that they could've came out with some better names than just PS Vita TV. Nonetheless, everybody's been comparing the device to the Apple TV, the Ouya game stick and saying, you know, is there any competition? Of course there's no competition. I mean, this first and foremost is Sony. They already own a ton of content where you're gonna be able to play games from PS1 through PS4 on this device, including Vita games. They announced the fact that you don't need a Vita in order to buy this thing or even play Vita games. I'm really curious to see the different things that are gonna happen um, with this device. Now, a lot of people are excited because they can buy the device and put it in a different room and you know they can play their PlayStation 4 games in a different room. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and back up. So one of the questions that I have is, you're gonna be able to play PS Vita games without owning a Vita on Vita TV. So can somebody tell me, why can't we play PS Vita games on our PlayStation 4s or even the PlayStation 3? Or is that even going to be an option? Will there be an update for the PS3 and the PS4 so you can play Vita games? If that is the case, why then buy this device? So I have so many different questions that I would love to hear the answer to. I can't wait till this device actually hits the market, which is going to be coming out in Japan on November 14th. And I'm pretty sure it's going to come out here in the States at another date and time. Sometime in 2014, I'm pretty sure. Maybe summer 2014, if not earlier. But that's, that's my question. Why can we not play PS Vita games on the PS3 or PS4 right now? Well, the PS4 isn't out yet, but the PS3. Other than that, people who wanna use this as a, a, a access of remote play to their PlayStation 4, what's the latency gonna be like? Because there's gonna be some kind of latency there. So how is it gonna work with online gaming? Will I be able to you know, play my games online? then cool I mean but people have to realize that if you're gonna be putting this device in another room understand that your PlayStation 4 controller can only be so far from the console itself so there's a lot of people that are getting excited about the feature which it's an awesome feature I'm not knocking that but sometimes I feel people are so anxious and and you know that anxiety is building up that they don't take the time to think about the little subtle things because if you're going to put this thing, let's say, in your upstairs bedroom, but your PlayStation 4 is downstairs, how far is the connectivity from the console and the controller? Or will you be able to connect your PS4 controller directly to the PS Vita TV? So there's so many questions that I have, and I hope that we actually get a chance to get some answers uh, sooner than later. But I can't wait to see some reviews come out for it for a cheap price of 100, around about 100 US dollars. That's pretty cheap and you really can't argue the price. Uh, some people could just get this device just purely on impulse. When it comes to me and my dollars, uh, impulse and $100, mm, that's a little bit too much for impulse for me. Do I need it? No. You guys see this room that I'm in my right now? This is my game room. I have my own room. So I don't need this per se. I, don't, I, I have no issues with unplugging my console and taking it in the living room. But there's other people who they, hey, this may work for them. They don't want to unplug their cables. And you know, more power to those individuals who choose to go that route. Not knocking anybody for doing this at all. Like I said before, the device is great. 
But what I want to get into is the fact that I've always stated that I feel the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One are going to be the last consoles that we ever see. And this device is proving the fact, is proving what I've been saying all along. If you look at this device, eventually, eventually, Sony has to add Gaikai in some form or fashion to this device to where you'll be able to stream anything, PS1, PS2, PS3, and even PS4 titles without remote play. I truly feel that this device will get to that. So if I'm able to stream to this device without even having my PlayStation 4 be on, like I said, people, this is the last generation of consoles and the PS Vita TV is a proven fact. It's showing that the console future is in the works. So I'm curious to see what you guys' opinions are on this. Are you guys gonna buy it? Do you guys think that this is a sign of the future with no more console gaming? What you guys take on it? I'm really curious to see and hear you guys' thoughts. Uh, some of the other things and uh, other questions that I had, well, really, the main question that I have is the latency issues. So I'm really, really curious to see this thing out in the wild, out in the public. The device is awesome. If you're gonna buy it, you can't go wrong with it. But these are my opinions and my thoughts, good and bad, up or down, regarding the PS Vita TV. Again, share your thoughts in the comments. I'll let you guys in the next video. Peace.